Hey guys, Gassy TV here with another Path of Excel video. In this one, I'm going to show you an extremely casual, friendly way to make a, a shitload of currency. I haven't looted this. I actually failed the blight because I'm currently playing a really, really, really squishy glass cannon. Uh, normally, I would go to the double cluster, but I'm a triple cluster super squishy with this right now. And my aura bot guy is not online. So I did it without it and I failed the blight. So there's less loot in this map than it should be. But as you can see, there's... Uh, Plenty of loot to go around. There's even monsters I haven't killed yet. Amazing. And, um, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. The only problem with this strategy is that it's kind of taking its toll on um, uh, your wrist as you play the game. So, basically, I'm going to explain the, the strategy of this. And it's very straightforward. And there's uh, ways of doing it uh, very juiced up and a, very, and a lot invested to it. And the other approach is not. So my first recommendation before we go into the details is that you're going to need to do some of the invitations uh, in the middle. Reason for this is because you want Secrets of the Stone, which increases the effect of Watchstone modifiers. You also are going to want the Enduring Influence. This increases the uh, Sexton modifiers have one additional use instead of three. You get four usage, which is going to be very handy for certain aspects, which I'll show you in a bit. The uh, other one is I would take Close Allies, but it's enough that you have those two to get this up and running. Uh, I'm a big fan of going out of tracker myself, so when, when I do this, I can easily also move into the process of killing a waker every now and then. So, uh, we are going to be farming in Voldo's Rest. Now, with Voldo's Rest in mind, uh, you choose whichever map you like. I'm a big fan of the Canyon map. It's very straightforward, very simple to run with. Uh, so, that's what we do. Uh, the watchstones we're going to use, uh, I will tell you in a bit, because they are not what most people think they are, and that's the auspicious, as they're called. But... Instead, I'm going to talk about the tree first. We're going to spec into Harbinger because it's just free currency. Why not? And then you have two options. One is going for the intrinsic darkness for Metamorph as well as repeat experiment for more Metamorphs and then high yield for more Metamorph approach again. So that is one way of doing it. I was not a big fan of this. And when I play solo, I actually killed my high body enemy guardian to this, which was pretty crazy. So I decided to go for Blights. And one of the reasons I decided to go for Blight is actually that the Blighted maps are actually very, very expensive. And some of the jewel uh, oils are actually really expensive as well. Even this late in the league. So I felt rather confident in going with that approach uh, to make currency. And the watchstones we are using is Imposing Merchant's Chromium Voldos Rest. Now, the low-budget version would be to look for the modifier rare monsters in areas have a percent chance to drop an additional basic currency item. Now, you can also alteration craft these pretty simply, uh, easily. And if you go for like 5, 6, 7 percent than this, it's very, very cheap on the market. And for the higher budget, you want to go for the 9 or 10 percent rolls. Now, in my case, I have four of these. And actually, I think one of them is 9 percent. Yeah, it's 9. I should probably fix that. Uh, eight to ten percent. So I got four tier one rolls. These cost between three, three and a half exalted each, and you're gonna make the currency back pretty really, really quickly on this if you do decide to go for the higher budget versions. Now the reason why this strategy is so cool is because it works very, very effectively for low investment. So casual players can very easily do this by buying the lower ones. And then the idea is very simple. We're going to be using uh, awakened sextants. And the really cool thing with the uh, Awakened Sexes is that they then have the possibility to roll this modifier here, which is Nemesis Monsters drop three additional basic currency items. Now, for the low budget approach, uh, or the low investment approach, in my opinion, is that you just put four Sexes on, and as long as none of them is terrible, you never re-roll them, because these Sexes cost like four to five chaos each at the moment of the time of the recording. So if you don't get Nemesis, it's okay. That means that the next part I'll go into, we're going to juice it up a little bit less by using the lower Scarabs instead, because you're still going to profit from that because you have four maps to run. However, if you do get the Nemesis, which is what you want to push, if you want to do heavy investment, you actually push all the way till you get this, and then you use a bigger investment on the other approaches. And the other approach is to start adding Scarabs. So the way to juice these maps is very simple. You will basically be going into your Scarab approach. And what we want is an Abyss Scarab. Now, if you don't hit Nemesis on your Watchstone, you want to use the lowest amount of this to spend as little currency as possible as you're using it because you're still going to profit. So in this case, we're going for a Rusted Abyss Scarab. Rusted Abyss Scarab is one to two chaos each. 
and then you want to go for a legion scab it's about the same thing there seven chaos 4c 6c say six or seven chaos you want to go for a blight one the rusted blight is uh, eight chaos and just a blighted map and most of the blighted maps are going for like 30 to 40 chaos each it's one of those and you make a shit lot of currency just from that outside of the juicing for this approach we also want to use a harbinger you can go for the rusted if you don't hit the nemesis and if you do hit the nemesis, you'd go for polished, in my opinion. It's not really worth going gilded, so polished should be uh, the better approach, in my opinion. So basically, the scarabs that you want to go with is um, polished blight, polished abyss, polished harbinger, and polished legion. Uh, if you have a nemesis mod. If you don't have nemesis, use the same scarabs, but use the rusted versions instead. And that's it. That, that's literally how to do it. It is very straightforward. It is very easy. Now, another note is that if you do hit Nemesis, which is what we have been doing uh, today in the, on stream, is with the Nemesis, uh, you want to make sure that your maps are rolled to reflect that. So I'm going to show you how I roll a map when you have Nemesis and when you don't have Nemesis. So this is basically how I would roll a map if I don't have Nemesis. I use chisels on it and put an over binding this one has over 20 percent pack size i'm okay with that let's just stick with this this is a perfectly fine map to run if i'm going for non-nemesis watchdown if i do have nemesis i do a search down here for a nemesis and i will just keep re-rolling this till i hit nemesis mod on it is what's going to happen with this modifier is that every rare monster in the entire map no matter how they spawned will be having the nemesis modifier this means that the sextant that I have is going to straight up make all of those rare monsters drop additional currency. And then we have the extra modifiers from the sextants increasing the amount of currency they drop. That's how we the that's how we achieved last map's drop rate. Uh, just a map before that, we dropped two exalteds in one map. It's very common that you get uh, one or more exalted orbs from a map, from a map uh, just straight up from running it this way. So it's it's very lucrative. It's very effective doesn't guarantee exalted orbs but it does increase the chances of that happening vastly so this is basically how i roll when i'm looking for a nemesis did i correctly spell that i hope i did otherwise we've been wasting currency uh so basically you just do this to get a nemesis roll i even want to make sure that the map has more than 20 percent. so in this case this is perfect this is really really good even so this is a really rippy map sure but it has over 20 percent pack size and it has the map modifier all the way at the bottom second from the bottom rare monsters each have nemesis mod that's the mod you're looking for when you have uh the nemesis modifier from the watchstone and that's basically it that's all you do and this is one out of uh, very many different approaches one can play the game for the sake and purpose and goal of making currency I personally prefer to make currency through profit crafting. You can look at all my crafting guides down in the descriptions below if that's something you'd prefer to do. Uh, but this is just another way of making currency, and I hope you guys had use of the video. If you guys have any other suggestions for the community, hit us up in the comments below. Hit the like button. Subscribe for more content, or you'll never drop an Exalted Orb. You know, I didn't make the rules. I don't make the rules, but you have to subscribe if you want to drop Exalted Orbs. That's just, that's just the way things are. I, I apologize, but just do it. And uh, yeah, until next time, stay safe. Keep rocking.